Hey y'all, so I'm sitting here reading and um, I want to show y'all my outfit of the day real quick and then I'll show you what I am reading. The struggle's real. I'm in my car right now. I feel like getting out. So, the shirt that I'm wearing is um, the summer reading shirt, Oceans of Possibilities. Summer 2022. Sorry, y'all. The light in the sun is real bright where I parked. And then I took a pair of um, a pair of biker shorts. So yeah. So let me show y'all. Let me try to get some light in better. Okay. Let me show y'all what um, what I'm reading. So right now I'm reading Songs of Solomon and I'm going to read this to y'all. Well, y'all can read it. It's right here. I'll pause it for a little bit. Oh, I hate this lighting. So yeah, so so far... Um, I'm not going to do like a little spoiler because I'm just literally on page 16 and I'm annotating it in a book as I go along. This is what the little post-it note looks like. And this is my little bookmark and it's cute. It's usually over here with my little moo cow and my little rocks. But I was like, hey, I couldn't, didn't have a bookmarker. So here we are. And yeah, so it's getting good so far. Um new um and it also has scripture in here as well um this is an urban christian book uh songs of solomon which is all the chapter in the bible as well um but it, it begins with um it all starts off with this um lady named miss ford she her murder her her soulmate gets murdered and yeah the killer is still out there there was no arrest no nothing so the killer's still out there i haven't got that far in the book to see where she um where she plays in this right now is talking about a guy named dr neil taylor and he runs a um the Christian Center and right now him and his assistant um, his administrative assistant is chatting it's just talking um, I don't want to get too into it um, I want to at least finish up this first chapter and I will get back with y'all I'll talk to y'all later Peace. this is straight facts so Neil Dr. Neil was just talking about was just sharing that he don't know if he want kids and stuff right now or even trying to remarry um because he you know was dealing with you know a bad marriage and all that but anyway so basically his assistant margaret was basically saying that kids is a blessing from god he heard it all this time then you know you know there's a lot of these guys running around you know doing their thing or whatever they call it not doing their thing but like you know what I mean daying it down and every woman and popping up with all these kids and not want to take care of them but I love how she Margaret worded it it said the Lord in heaven knows that we have enough sorry jokers who are running around the field planting seeds that don't even stick around to see grow and basically she was saying like Neil you have a gift with kids because he runs you know what I mean a Christian center like an after school program center type deal it's pretty dope yeah I just wanted to share how how worded that was and I put the word facts so yeah straight facts straight facts all right y'all I'll get back with y'all later hey you guys so i never really ended the video i'm here at work um before i do my patrol um so 
um, I know I said in the last uh, last clip um, that it talked about, I think I said Margaret in the beginning, it talked about a woman named Shailen, Shailen. But um, where I'm at so far in the book, and I think I got like a few, maybe like 10 pages. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five pages until chapter two. So right now, um, they heard a knock at the door. Several knocks at the door, Margaret turns. Standing in the doorway was a child dressed in a Kingdom Builders Academy signature blue and gray uniform and an unidentified woman who nearly made Neil swallow his <clears throat> dissolving breath mint. His eyes locked onto the attractive, strong woman against his will. And against his will, they started at the bottom and scanned her petite yet exceptional form. And I'm assuming this is Shylin. Shaylin. I don't know why I keep calling her Shylin. It's Shaylin. Her leather pumps bleed the reds, the same red of, of her of her skirt, sorry, too old to be one of the little ones that his mother used to babysit in her home. He hoped beyond he hoped beyond hopes that their formal meeting wherever whenever and wherever it was it had been a pleasant one. Yep, this is her, this is Shaylin. And she was dropping off her son Chase Ford. Let me write this, put this in my room. So she has a son named Chase. <clears throat> now, in the beginning of this book, it's talked in the prologues of Shaylin's story. She's the one that lost her husband in a murder, and this is seven years later after that. Okay, he's a star student. He's introducing himself now to her. She was saying, I heard a lot about you, Dr. Taylor. Chase speaks often about him. Chase said, um, Chase uh, was telling his mom that he gives good high fives. That's cute. Oh, she locked her keys in the car and her phone was in there. She was saying, so <clears throat> Dr. Neil was like, where she locked her keys in the car, he said, it'll probably be best if you just call your husband to get him to come get you, give you the spare key. And she was like, my daddy's in heaven. That's what Chase said. Yeah, and Shaylin said that my husband's deceased to break the awkward silence. Okay, so Margaret was asking a bunch of questions, like, poor thing. <laughs> and Neil's like, uh, you asked too many questions.
You know when it gets good, you gotta put your finger there so you won't lose where you at. Honey, Neil is throwing Margaret out. Not like that, but just out of love. Like, why are you asking these personal questions? Even after you said your condolences and all that, Margaret just smacked her lips. But for your information, I didn't ask what, where he died. You'll put in your words in my mouth and all this. None of that is the point anyway. Dr. Taylor Margaret referred to the conversation back to her original point. Even though her husband is dead, she insisted on being called Mrs. Ford. So what? Neil pretended not to find it peculiar. Lots of widows still use their marriage titles. I'm a widow and I don't use it. That doesn't mean... Oh, Neil's, Neil's wife died as well. I said that they were in a bad marriage. They did. She died. Um, and don't know how, though. She has a silver Corolla. He knows her from somewhere. All right, y'all. I'm about to go real quick because I'm about to go on to work. Peace. Hey, y'all. So... <clears throat> I just want to um, come on here real quick. Um, so I'm sitting here wondering why does she look familiar to Neil? And I'm thinking like, I don't know if he was there or one of his homeboys was there. I don't know. Like I haven't met none of his friends yet in the story, but I don't know. Like, I feel like Maybe he heard about the case. Maybe he knows someone that has something to do with it. I don't know. I do not know. But I'm sorry y'all for this angle. But yeah, I'm just sitting there and can't wait to get back from patrol to finish reading to go on to chapter two. Um, to keep y'all posted but I'm just sitting here thinking y'all like well, you know and I'm only on chapter only just finished chapter one so all right y'all I'll talk to y'all later comment below what y'all think probably by the time this um I'll be halfway through chapter two I'm letting y'all know but I'll let you know a little bit of chapter two I'm not gonna we'll save that for another video peace Hey y'all, so I'm at the end of, I almost thought my phone fell. So I'm at the end of, um, I'm at the end of chapter two. And right now this is just talking about her son. This is his first time in a public school. And she was, her son Chase was asking her, could she um, come to this field trip with her to the Georgia Aquarium? And she really don't like being a chaperone or whatnot. Um, so right now she's just um, <clears throat> just thinking back um, while he's getting ready for school. And it says her pastor in Wisconsin had while through a prophetic declarement that the pain of her loss would eventually despair. Despair, the only breath that day. Taking deep breaths helps her reach the river. All right, y'all. I'm on chapter three. I'm about to end this reading vlog. So, so far, um, it's, it's so good. So far, um, you know, we know about Margaret, which is Neil, Dr. Neil Taylor's um, assistant, which she is one hot six-year-old uh, assistant, I should say. Dr. Neil Taylor is the CEO of Kingdom Builder Academy. Um, and yeah, and he lost his wife as well. Um, so they're both widows. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, so now that Ms. Dr. Neil and Shaylin met, 
uh, we'll see from there. So right now, so far in chapter three, real quick, um, Dr. Neil is heading to church. Um, he is in Atlanta's heavy traffic. I've never been to Georgia, y'all, but I heard that Atlanta traffic is terrible. <coughs> Excuse me. Kingdom Builder Christian Center, identified by most as KBCC. So when I say KBCC, meaning Kingdom Builder Christian Center, um, at a membership over 1,200. Oh, they got tw over 1,200 members in um, in his uh, in his Christian Center. And it's the fastest growing, it's doubled in five years. Okay, it says Kingdom Kingdom Builder KBCC. Have a good one. And it's eleven oh five. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> KBCC was a part of New Hope Fellowship and Church where the nationally known and high respected Reverend P.T. Tides served as an overseer for more than 30 years. CB, KBCC, Christian Builder, Christ, Kingdom Builder Christian Center was pastored by its founder, Dr. Charles Lofer Sr. When the founder pastor died four years ago, his attending at the funeral service was expected to be a great day. Oh, snap. Neil took particular pleasure in seeing the young charge loafer walk through the side and turn to take a seat in the ele <clears throat> elevated platform of CBC KBCC. Neil has been acquainted with Pastor Charles Loafer Jr. Okay. Since, since the day he is simply known by CJ. The clerk's closet friends still refer to him as such a spite. CJ, sorry. Okay, CJ. Okay. Charles Lofer Jr., which is the, the old pastor senior's um, son. Reverend Ty's passed along with his wisdom to his son, Dr. Lofer. So Reverend Ty's son, Charles Lofer, was on the police department in the metropolitan Atlanta uh, D uh, County, in D. Clay County. So four years ago, the law enforcement made a choice to lie aside the badge and take up his mantle, full-time pastor at the Kingdom Christian Builder Center, where he has served as a youth pastor for 10 years prior. An undergrad at the same university, Neil and CJ became fast friends as they seen each other through some rough times in their lives. With CJ's death of his both parents and Neil and the death of his brother, he had come into a house to gather in his name and worship him. Hmm. It's crazy how. Um, Mr. Lofer Jr. here was a part of the police department. I'm wondering, is it connected with whatever happened with Shaylin?
I said I was going to get off here, y'all. Okay, Neil's up there singing. It says that he discovered that he could sing at five years old. Okay, his older brother was Dwayne. That's the one I'm assuming that passed. Dwayne's ultimate death, Dr. Lothar will request Neil's vocal, vocal assistance. After Dr. Lothar had laid to rest, Neil asked CJ not to resume the tradition. CJ fought Neil on the decision, but ultimately, in an act of compassion, CJ gave his word. Oh snap, without looking around, Neil knew that the loud quote came from his very own assistant, Margaret Dasher. She was easily his biggest fan. When it came to Oh, my bad. I had a text. Um, it's just still at the church right now. Um, CJ had approached the speaker stand and open Bible, ready to start the day's message. All right, y'all. So I'm about to be done. I'm, I got really one more page until chapter... Um, Four, so we might as well go ahead and finish.
CJ, Pastor uh, Reverend CJ just stretched his hand out to kneel. All he hears is CJ saying that because God is in the building, your life is going, to, your life is never going to be the same again. So true. All right. This is chapter four so far. Shaylin's at the aquarium. So I'm assuming she did volunteer for the field trip. So. The next reading vlog, um, I'll probably be past chapter four, but I will keep y'all posted um, with where I'm at. So this was my reading vlog, Psalms of Solomon by uh, Kendra Norman Bellum. All right, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading vlog. I will talk to y'all guys later and I this, this is just one of the books I'm reading. I'm also reading Midnight Jesus by Jamie Blaine as well, which is going to be in the vlog that's going to be on Friday. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.